we need to go also review our throttle enhancement as we're driving. Let me go fire it up real quick here. All right, we'll just wait a second again. We're gonna wait till the closed loop correction here uh, starts to work. We can see post start correction is still adding some fuel. You yeah, definitely want to mate to the post start correction zeros out to kind of evaluate this. We should be almost ready to go here. And we can see the short term correction is kicking in. All right, so I'm going to go in here, drive it. Um, right now, let's bring our engine speed down here to roughly, let's go to 2,000. We can go to 2,000. We'll move up right in our RPM increments, maybe 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Just check our throttle and enrichment and throttle enhancement. Make sure this is good. I'm going to go and record this so we can talk about it. So let's record. Put it in gear and just start to drive it. It's going to blip the throttle. That's perfect. real quick we shut down the engine quickly take a look at this so what I was noticing is as I was giving throttle input it had a nice uh, response out of the engine so the response side of things looks good feels good let's check our air fuel quick um, this isn't the end-all be-all for setting up your uh, transient throttle because we will have a lag associated with our transient throttle so if we're looking at where we actually trip the transient event to where it richens up the mixture there's always a delay 50, second, 50 milliseconds to 150 milliseconds delay. The wideband doesn't immediately register it. At higher, high, at higher engine speeds, the cycle time happens quicker, and we can look at the air fuel registration when we're trying to evaluate the transient throttle event, but at the low engine speeds, 2,000, 1,000, it's a little bit hard to kind of gauge it. Let's go here to channels, and I'm going to get rid of our, oh, get rid of all of them but RPM, so we can kind of see what's going on here. So we can see I'm, I'm operating right about here in the table, right about 2,000 RPM or so. And I'm gonna blip the throttle. And we'll find here that we have our transient amount here starting to add. So we see it's in the 14s and 15s, we blip the throttle. Air fuel looks good. We didn't see it go too rich or too lean and it felt good, it felt like it had good response. Move up here in engine speed a little bit, I blip the throttle again. Now we want to kind of thanks for checking out our teaser clip if you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current efi training we have to offer make sure you click right here if you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later